Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video here on the channel and today we are going to be looking at something very much broken. Now, you may remember back when Infinity War was released, a simple way to defeat Thanos and win that game mode was Skybases, as his attacks had a limited height range. Well, we thought today, does the same work for the Storm King? Answer? Yes, it kind of does. So, bearing in mind that we only had a tiny little bit of ammo and a couple of guns, me and Toby went up into the sky to take on the Storm King. But I mean, I was getting a little bit bored, so I decided that wasn't entertaining enough. So I reinforced our brace a little bit. Then Toby was like, well, we're not going to have enough ammo to last this game. And I was like, you're right. You're right, we're not going to have enough ammo. How can we get ammo? Answer, going down there. But, just how effective would that be? Now, as you can see, his spin attacks normally wipe out a lot of the area. They will destroy any build in that area. But they don't hit above a certain height. Making it easy for us to stay up in our sky base. So, as you've seen, me and Toby were doing a lot of damage, I decided to come off and come on down. Now, I go around for a couple of minutes here, trying to get a lot of loot, uh, get a couple of guns for me and Toby, and get as much ammo as I can. Now, the issue is, how do I get back up there? As you know, the Storm King does spin abilities, and those wipe out everything up to a certain height. So I need to start building it right after he does a spin ability. I need to make sure I have enough materials. And when I go up, I need to make sure it's worthwhile so I have enough ammo. So, uh, the laser hits me there. It doesn't kill me because I have enough health and shield. Not a lot of people know this, but um, that laser ability only deals around 150 or 175 damage. So, should you have enough, then you can survive it. As you can see, I've come round, got a lot of resources. Got a lot of ammo. So, you do need ammo for this to work, but it does work, as I will prove in a minute. So I'm running around down here and still collecting ammo. 
but also trying to work out a way to get back up to Ashgate. Right, as you can see, I start building up here as he's just done a wave ability, but he does it again and it catches me out, locking me down. So, a good teammate comes over and revives me, and I was like, well, I need the ammo. So, this is where Liam comes in. Now, Liam's been on the ground for the whole game. It was essential that we had a man on the ground. Um, he... I've collected ammo. As you just saw, I picked up a blue AR, so I've got a burst, and I can take Toby a blue AR um, and get some more ammo. Now, me and Liam come off to the one side, and Liam drops me 300 wood and 140 stone. Now, that was essential for my plan. So, that was essential for my plan at this point. Now, all that's left for me now is I need to wait for him to do another spin ability. But I got knocked again. So Liam gets me back up. And so at this point I'm still just waiting for him to spin. And there, he does it. That's my ticket. Now I've got to get up high enough so that as soon as the Storm King does his next spin, I'm connected to the base. Because even if I'm high enough for it not to hit me, it could destroy that which I'm stood on. So I need to connect myself up to our base as quickly as possible. Now, do you reckon you can do it in time? Um, I had faith that I could do it in time. And that faith was very well placed. Because as you can see... I get back up to Toby. So, can you skybase your way to victory in the Storm King? Perhaps. However, we have not survived yet. The Storm King is still very much alive. We need to kill him. So I build my way in a little bit more, so that we, so that we're safe, ready for the next storm circle. Now, as you can see off to the side there, I've got the ramp. That ramp showing. Um, literally where the Storm King's attack didn't erase um, so the height is nearly max height that he can't hit but there is there is definitely a point where he can't hit however if you are the last people on the line as far as I know he can throw stones up at you so you do have to be careful with that So I just paused here for a minute because I was I was taking this I I decided I'd take a screenshot of it because it was just too funny. So I'm now sort of thinking of a plan of action. Then I decide the best way for me to get a good angle is come part way down that ramp. I go part way down that ramp. I can sit on that ramp and get a good angle on it. And to be perfectly honest, I do get that angle. I get the good angle I want. So we're down to the f the final storm horn, and it's about half strength at this point if I remember right. So I'm laying into it from above with a burst. Toby's even higher than me, laying into it with an AR, and we've got six other people down on the bottom shooting with all their might at him.
Now, at this point, it seems like I'm perfectly all right. It seems like me and Toby have a pretty foolproof plan. Now, here I accidentally nudge myself backwards and shoot my ramp. I do hear it up there. But now, the storm horn, I'm like, oh, there's the storm horn. But he drops down where I can't hit it. So I walk forward to try and get it and fall off. Disaster again. It's the second time I've hit the ground. Now, is there really much chance of me getting back up? I definitely thought that that was it for us. Uh, sky base plan would just finish it off with me on the ground. But um, fortunately, it's not the case. Just how broken is the sky base? It's so broken that you can pull it off three times. Probably even more. So, I get revived by a teammate who those teammates then heal us up. Now, um, I was like, I've got no materials to get back up. I've barely got any ammo left. Toby's barely got any ammo left. That st first storm horn is about, uh, the final storm horn is about to go down. So, I'm just going around, getting some more ammo, trying to upgrade my weapons, trying to get resources, and getting some XP as well. Now, does that work? Yes, it works effectively. Again. Now, a golden zombie spawns in in a second, and um, I was like, ooh, I definitely want to kill him. And said golden zombie drops me a beautiful like a legendary star. Which I then use completely to my advantage. And I've got more ammo to take up to Toby. I've got resources to get back up there. Just no plan of how to get up there. Now at this point, it sort of felt like the Storm King had started targeting me. I don't know why. don't think it was the case either. Just, I didn't seem to be able to catch a break from you. Now. So, running around, getting more stuff. And now, the final Stormhorn. So, we rip that to shreds. Now, as you can see, he is exposed. So I'm like, Toby, I know the storm is extremely tiny at this point, and we're all attacking the Storm King, so there's probably no point, but I'm actually going to try and get back up there. So, as you can see, building like a madman for my life, because it literally is my life. And the great thing is, is we managed to, as you can see, reconnect to the little ramp from earlier now the rest of the ramp was in the storm so i was questioning what we could do toby is like it's not far i'm gonna come to you now as you can see i'm like toby i don't think you're gonna be able to make it like you're just too far away so i start laying into the uh Storm King, as soon as he does his spin ability, I've got a completely open shot on him, so I start laying into him with my pumpkin launcher. At the same time, this Toby is like, I'm going to come down. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I was like, I don't think you're going to survive that. Guess what? He proves me wrong and pulls it off. So we are now both upon a sky base. Uh, we've got uh, Liam is dead at this point. So it's me and Toby up on our sky base and four teammates down on the ground and we all are just laying into him with everything we've got. Now, I kind of expected him to sort of focus us with his rocks and knock us down. Um, that ended up not being the case because as you can see right here, we finished him. And so because we finished him, I shot us both down and we beat the Storm King. We managed to beat the Storm King by sky basing. So guys, uh, that's where I'm going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it funny. Um, yeah, 
let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. Um, I'd love to see if any of you managed to pull it off as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.